Hi guys, Tech Talk Time with Alfred. Now this week is the beginning of a new year and a new decade. It just so happens that we don't have so many technical problems to solve from you guys. So we'll just use this time to turn our attention to some other issues of concern to everyone. Especially concerning some rumors circulating around MAN tokens, matrix and cryptocurrencies in general. I think these issues demand a clarification. Now the fact that you can't find anything by entering the name Theme Tech Inc. in your search engine doesn't necessarily mean the company is unregistered or even non-existent. It may simply be because the company doesn't have an official name in English. And actually the name Theme Tech Inc. is just our translation based on paraphrasing the original Chinese name. And the company doesn't have an official website either, as is often the case for state-owned Chinese companies, if you know anything about Chinese companies. But if you want to dig deeper, we actually offer the company name in its original Chinese characters, which we'll put in the description below. And you can use this name and enter it in a search engine we call Qichacha, which we'll also put in the description. And what this platform is, is they are actually a reliable source of company registration information uh, that many Chinese investors and entrepreneurs use. They draw directly from the database of the Chinese Bureau of Industry and Commerce. Unfortunately, an English version is not available. If you have the time, why not have a try? Now, admittedly, the Chinese government is taking somewhat of a strong stance when it comes to cryptocurrency, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a hostile stance. And to understand this situation better, we have to put everything in its context. As we know, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology itself is still in its infancy. And a lot of the rules and regulations surrounding this field is rather incomplete. So moving forward, we have reason to assume that more countries and governments will issue similar policies to regulate the market. And the fact that the Chinese government may seem one step ahead of everyone else shouldn't really be considered evidence that its attitude is against all forms of cryptocurrency or even blockchain technology. Now, to understand this point, you really have to look no further than the fact that the Central Bank of China is issuing its own form of cryptocurrency, the DCEP. And the many cooperative projects mentioned by Steve Dung between Matrix and some airlines and power plants, many of whom have state-owned backgrounds. Besides, Matrix has always been paying great attention to staying compliant with relevant rules and regulations. So there really isn't any reason to worry in that regard. And all I just think is a bit far-fetched to assume that the Chinese government's attitude is against all forms of cryptocurrencies. It's just trying to regulate the market and weed out the bad ones. Because stability of the market and economy is their top concern. Now, all of that just brings us to this one last question of the day. Usually for this Tech Talk series, we only focus on technical problems. But this once, I do have permission to share with you this one contract, which should by itself provide evidence enough of Matrix close ties with some of the governmental projects. Now, this contract was signed between Matrix and the Center of Belt and Road Research and Development under the Association for the Promotion of West China Development and Research. Now, I'll include a link to the a scanned copy of this contract in the description below. So you are free to use Google Translate or whatever other means to find out what's inside. So, all right, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you've got something out of it. See you next time. Cheers.